What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be discussing why Origins might not be coming out in 2023, so let's talk about it in this video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 35,000 subscribers, guys, we are at the 33,000 subscriber mark, if you guys have not hit the subscribe button already, definitely make sure to, and without the way, let's hop in and talk about the Netmarble Earnings Report and what it has to do with uh, Origins actually not being out um, uh, this year specifically, so let's talk about it. All right, guys, so the Netmarble earning report has dropped and I have the PDF right here and pretty much um, they go over like a ton of things that cover like new lineup games and like stuff about like the revenue and a lot a lot of stuff like that pretty much. Right. Um, but the one big takeaway from this is that, as you guys can see in, in the 2023 new lineups right here, it doesn't mention anything about 7DS Origins. Right. It, it really doesn't. It mentions Tower of God. It mentions like Paragon. Um, you know, it mentions like solo leveling the game. So, so there are games that are going to be coming out. And I, I assume this means like first half of uh, 2023, and then this is second half of 2023, right? Um, so yeah, and then it doesn't really mention anything about, um, you know, uh, what's it called, Origins, and in, and it also says right here like in 2023. Um, are expected to be launched right and it doesn't mention uh origin and it mentions in the first half of 2023 we got metal world grand class w um tara god and then in the second half it's going to be arthel uh arth arth doll uh chronicle solo leveling and then project night so like that's what i'm saying is like we don't really know now if we're going to be getting origin in 2023 like it's still a possibility i think this is like um mainly a lineup for global uh specific games um, but we're gonna have to see and then if we actually go to the earnings report right here for netmarble if you guys can see in the bottom right right here um you guys can see that seven million since grand cross during the 3.5 anniversary in november um actually was seven percent of the uh, revenue for netmarble which you know knowing that means that like grand cross is staying man if that's seven percent of their company is is grand cross in terms of like how much money they're getting for their for the company i think it's it's definitely a game that's going to be staying for sure right because um, if we look at a game like nino kuni cross worlds which came out last year they're only making five percent and grand cross has been out for almost what almost four years now um it's it's pretty insane right so yeah that's what i'm uh i wanted to make note about as well but um guys this does mean that origin might not be releasing in 2023 because of this little earnings report um we don't really know for sure um but it does give us the uh you know the breakdown of like how much grand cross is earning and stuff and uh and also the breakdown by region um but yeah pretty much um the, the one main takeaway from this i'd say is that um if we are going to be getting origins um it would be like a japanese kr version because this this is mainly i think global games if i'm not mistaken because they they have them uh, structured like this um i don't know if they're gonna be like specifically um you know if they're gonna have like the yeah because it says right here right global 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 yeah these are all the global versions of the game right so there are some games that that could release in 2023 that could be like korean and, and japanese like if they had like you know origin drop as a japanese game in 2023 and in 2024 we get the global version which i i don't really think i'd really like that i'd like to keep i'd like to hope that they uh have it all release at one time just have a completely global version um but you know it, it's up in the air right and uh with this earnings report right here guys we we know what's going to be coming in terms of net marble games but we don't know exactly when origin is going to be releasing right um but yeah i i do think though that uh grand cross being one of the the main update events um and one of the bigger uh you know money makers for net marble means that you know especially knowing the ip as well for them if they can do origins really well then they're definitely they they know for a fact they're gonna make big money right um, if we look at marvel contest of champions we know marvel contest of champions is like their biggest like game they have right like in terms of like the money making alone like just that game alone um does make them the most amount and Grand Cross is almost half that, right? Um, which is very good. So, um, yeah, I would say that uh, Grand Cross's future is pretty much uh, safe right now, right? Uh, in terms of like what we get for Grand Cross, especially with knowing that we're going to be getting the Fortnite of Apocalypse stuff upcoming as well. Um, I do think that Grand Cross's future is uh, pretty much safe. Um, but, you know, in terms of Origins future, I really don't know, guys, when they're going to be releasing it. And I don't think um i don't think honestly it'll be coming out in 2023 because of this earnings report if we if we had something saying that like origin will be launched in 2023 sometime uh then that would have been really good but they didn't mention anything of uh, along that uh you know way that that made it so that it would be it would be that 
right um and then you know the rest of the earning stuff i don't really know a lot of this stuff i did do uh like i took business uh in my college by i i'm not gonna lie i don't really remember much of this but this is like their their current assets non-current assets total assets current liabilities and then it tells you like how much they've uh you know made by the end of 2022 in terms of their uh total liabilities and total equity um so it's good i think that their equity is higher than their liabilities but um i don't know it, it, you can see that there is a lot of decreases in net marbles like income lately um and that's probably just because you know they haven't really done anything uh game breaking in the gaming scene for a bit you know what i mean um i think uh overall they haven't really like they haven't really like spiced up the gaming market at all really but when they drop like tower of god and when they drop origin and they drop all these games that they've been you know teasing for a while then maybe we're gonna be talking about uh net marble actually doing a lot better um you know in the in the you know gaming side of things but yeah guys that's pretty much it though that's all i really wanted to talk about is that origin is probably delayed now for the 2024 release i mean we didn't know for sure it was going to be a 2023 release but from the looks of it it does look like it's going to be coming out in 2024 which is very unfortunate but you know if it gives them more time to work on the game and, and polish it out then i think we'll be uh you know we'll be doing pretty good and another takeaway from this as well is that grand cross's future is pretty much set in stone if we're getting seven percent of the overall revenue for net marble is seven dollars since grand cross then um i see no no reason why they should stop like you know like running the game and uh putting money into it to to create characters and, and events and all that so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section below about the net marbles earning results or earning report um that's gonna be it for the video i'm uh, i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day